Hey, Davey here from Davey and Krista in the Palm Shop. Today we're talking about the SEO settings inside Show It 5. If you log into your Show It 5 account and select your website, you should see something like this. Today I'm using our Palm Beach theme as a demo. You can check it out at thepalmshop.co. And if you select Site over here, you should be able to see all the pages on your website. You should add an SEO title and description to all of your pages, but today I'm just going to use the home page here as an example. So once you've selected the page that you want to add your SEO title and description to, come over here to the right hand side and find SEO settings. And when you select SEO settings, you should see blank boxes for SEO title, description, and SEO keywords. I've already filled in these boxes, but I want to take just a few minutes to explain some of the things you should consider before completing these components. So before you do anything else, you should do some keyword research and come up with a good keyword strategy. But that's a topic for another day, uh, for another video. So let's say that I've done my keyword research and I've decided my keyword is going to be Palm Beach, Florida wedding photographers. I want to see if I can work that into my SEO title and description in a natural way. If this is truly what the page on my site is about, it shouldn't be difficult. If it is difficult, perhaps we're focusing on the wrong keyword. So the SEO title and description is what appears in the Google search results. So the golden rule here is to be honest and create titles and descriptions that are as relevant as possible. If you try to trick Google with any sort of shenanigans, Google will eventually figure it out and penalize you. Google knows. So as I create my title, I wanna keep these three things in mind. First, be consistent in the way you name your pages. Consider providing the name of the page followed by the name of your company. So for instance, for this, for this title here, I named it Palm Beach Wedding Photographer Separator Palm Beach Photography, and you can use whatever separator you want here. But be sure to include the name of your company. Brand recognition is important. So the more places people see your name, the more likely they'll trust you. So if they just saw you on Facebook and then you come up in search results, they're more likely to click. Second, try to keep your titles around 60 characters, but definitely go, don't go any longer than 70. Um, otherwise, your title will probably be cut off by search engines. And third, just like we did here, try to keep important keywords towards the front of the title. So if our keyword is Palm Beach Wedding Photographers, here we have Palm Beach Wedding Photographer right at the beginning of the title. So that's why we named the page like we did. Google will use the SEO title to deliver relevant results to the searcher. The SEO description here, also called the meta description, is not a factor that Google uses to rank your site, but it's an important factor in increasing the likelihood someone clicks on your site. Again, when you search for something in Google, this is what appears under the title. So taking my keyword into consideration here, I've decided on the following meta description. We're Palm Beach, Florida wedding photographers who specialize in capturing the story of your big day. So we could probably refine this and make this a little bit more enticing, but it's, it's fine for an example. And when I'm creating a meta description, I'm trying to really keep these two things in mind. First, try to keep it around 150, maybe 160 characters. Anything more than that runs the risk of being cut off. Second, use language that encourages the searcher to click without saying, sounding scammy, or again, you know, going back to our golden rule, without being dishonest. A better click-through rate can indicate to Google that your search result is relevant and may lead to a higher, higher ranking. If you have a WordPress blog associated with your show at website, I suggest optimizing it using the Yoast SEO WordPress plugin. They have boxes for all of these things in their own plugin. It's awesome. It's probably one of the best, if not the best, SEO tool out there, especially for WordPress. Um, but yeah, thanks for following along today. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at davyandkrista.com. And as always, you can find us at davyandkrista.com or thepalmshop.co. See you soon.